This conference will now I'm this having... conference will now be recorded. There we go. All right. So good evening. Good evening. Today is Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. This is the Board of Assessment Appeals meeting. Regular virtual meeting for the grand list, October 1st, 2020. I now call the meeting to order. We are gonna say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, in attendance tonight, we have myself, Thomas Vitale, board chairman, Robert Avery, board member, Carl Barnamico, board member, Shelby Jackson, town assessor, Kevin Coons, chief appraiser, and Shelly Hemingway, recording secretary. Item number four on the agenda is approval of minutes. Board members, have you Chairman read Nick. the March 15th minutes? If not, we can yes. postpone it. No, you have it. Okay, we will vote on yes. March 15th minutes um, tomorrow night at our next meeting. So if you can get to read them later or tomorrow morning, it'd be great. Uh, Item number five, consent agenda. Not yet. Uh, that should be here tomorrow also, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go to item six, discussion and possible action regarding attached appeals. We're going to start with um, Rob, Uncle. Just give me a minute to find your appeal because... Uh, it's 2020-115, uh, Mr. Chairman. Correct. Um, hold on, because it's it's now uh, it's now uh, in yesterday's or Monday's agenda, and or in the email that came. So. Uh, I can help you with that if you like. It's a simple matter. No, I'll, I'll, uh, I, uh, what was the number again? It was toward the bottom, right? 115. 115. Okay, I do have it. Uh, so we have, um, <clears throat> C2 Land and LP, care of Clarion Partners. Uh, Mr. Uncle, I'm going to swear you in. I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. Correct. Yes, I do. So this is 600 Northrop Road, and you have placed a market value of 8300000 on the property. Yes, sir. So go ahead, tell us. Uh, about your appeal? Well, Shelby, Shelby and I have come to a settlement agreement at, at ten million five hundred thousand. That's correct, Mr. Chairman, and along with that, there'll be no further appeal on the property. Okay, is that a is that a a, a change or is that a? Um, so the original market value was eleven million one hundred. Uh, bear with me. So that's one hundred fifteen thousand. So we need a motion to change the market value to ten million five hundred. Mr. Chairman, to make it. Go ahead. Second. I didn't, I didn't make the full um, motion. Mr. Chairman, make a motion to reduce 2020-115 uh, for market value of 10500000 Second. All in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you, Mr. Uh, Uncle. And uh, you'll be getting a letter from the assessor's office. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time this evening. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so we're going to move on to uh, tonight's uh, new agenda or start of, of the agenda. So we're going to start with hearing number 2020-063, Rogers Family Limited Partnership. And Mr. Lamonti, you're here to represent them? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to swear you in, and I'm going to swear you in uh, once, and that will cover all your hearings. Correct. I yes. hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. Yes, I do. Okay. The other thing that uh, uh, we will discuss before we get started is uh, we will be hearing all of your uh, appeals. We will be taking notes and we will be sending um, uh, our action or inaction or our uh, to you in the upcoming week to 10 days. Okay, thank you. Okay, so please proceed um, uh, 237 Hall Avenue. That's correct, okay. So uh, first of all, I'm an appraiser. I'm a real estate broker and I'm an appraiser. Uh, I have a 45 years of experience in this field, you know, uh, appraisal and uh, real estate brokerage. And so Mr. Uh, Rusty Rogers uh, hired, uh, hired my office um, to prepare appraisal reports. Now we we are uh, we are working on the appraisals, you know, we have some completed, some they are not. I can give you a very good idea where, where we stand. All right, the 237 Hall Avenue, uh, as you probably are aware, is an apartment building. Now, this property originally was built as an office in 1930 or around that time. And then it was converted to two apartments. So they got a, a eight one bedroom apartments, different sizes, but they are all one bedroom. Now, uh, until uh, last year, one of the units was a dental, uh, was a dentist office on the, on the ground floor. But due to the pandemic, you know, the the office closed down and and it's still still closed but i consider the unit also as one bedroom and so my value is predicated on a one bedroom you know units so based on that <clears throat> what, what i've done is because this is a tax appeal uh, and my income approach i'm not going to use you know i'm not going to input the tax uh, real estate taxes as part of the operating expenses. Instead, I'm going to use a tax load factor, which is predicated on, on the town of Wallingford mill rate for the 2020, you know, grand lease, which is the last revaluation year for a uh, grand lease of uh, Wallingford. So based on the 29.19 mill rate, the tax load factor is 2.04. That's not an opinion. That's the mathematical uh, equation. All right. So what I did was I use a market sale approach and I use an income approach. And the income approach is predicated on a direct capitalization method. So the two approaches to value, uh, they resulted in 540,000 on the market sales and 530,000 on the income, it's very, very close. And so my final value on this particular property is gonna be 535,000 as of October 1, 2020. So it's a retrospective valuation. And uh, so once the report is completed, I, I'm gonna have a, a four different sales, you know, 
factory that I'm going to use as a comparable. I have a different rents, you know, from various properties, somewhat similar to the subject. And I'm talking about market conditions. I will talk about neighbor, you know, composition. I will talk about, uh, you know, the overall market in terms of, uh, you know, vacancies, in terms of the rental rates. And so my my value is predicated on those two components. So as of October 1, 2020, um, my value conclusion is going to be 535,000. 535 or 575? 35. 535. 35. 35. So, uh, see your, your appeal, your your appeal is for 575. No, no. Uh, my, my value conclusion is 535,000. Okay. Well, did you file these um, appeals or did, did, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, we filed, I mean, not me, uh, Mr. Rogers filed, you know, the tax appeal with, with your board, you know, with the tax appeal board. But uh, I, I just about done with the appraisals. But I do have, you know, uh, evaluations, you know, as far, you know, numbers. So so let me, let me ask you this question, too. Yes. Yeah. When are you going to be finished with your appraisals? Yeah. Uh, uh, and and uh, by next week, end of this week, by next week, we should be all done. So why are we hearing all these appeals if we have no appraisals from you? Oh, oh no, I can give you, I can give you a summary. Well, we're, we're here to do that tonight. We're here, we're here to make decisions. If you, if you give me, if to make decisions. We're not here to, to, if you to listen you to you now. If you give an email address, I can uh, have it for you this evening or tomorrow. But well, I'm, we're here. Listen, I cannot give you the full appraisal. I can give you a summary. First of all, any information of that nature should have been to us three days prior to the meeting. Okay. It's nice that you can tell us about this information. We have no written documentation. The town has no written documentation. Has anybody has anybody sat with the appraiser or during the the informal hearing process to go over these? I I don't know. I have no idea. You know, I I'm doing I'm doing appraisal work. They did not meet with the. Um, um, I, I don't know the property. Okay, well, Mr. Coons, Mr. Coons is, is going to is speaking. So, um, according to the memo, this they did not meet with the vision appraisal at least on this property. And, and you're not, and, and the board does not have formal appraisal. Okay, let me. In our hands this evening. Mr. Vidali, please let me allow me, okay? Okay. Uh, doing this for 45 years, I do a lot of tax appeals throughout the state of Connecticut and Massachusetts. We don't need to give you a full appraisal. I, I can give you a summary of what a, the appraisal conclusion is going to be based on two methods of values the market sales and the income approach. That value is not going to change. Okay, so I can provide you this evening all the properties, a summary of each one of them. And tomorrow I can probably have a one or two reports, but it's not necessary for me to give you the full appraisal. I'm giving you under testimony, under hold. That's, that's, what, you, that's what you say, but that's not what I say, you know? Well, it's not what you, you say. Can say what you, you want to say. You ask me under hold to give you values. That's what I'm doing. I'm giving okay. you. All right. You give us so the this value. Problem, this particular property is going to be we will make our decisions five. based on, on on what you're telling us, not what you're showing us. No, no. If you give me an email address, I will email it to you. No, you I'm not getting. No, we're we're going to listen to what you have to say tonight, and okay. then we'll make this decision. And, and this is this is recorded, right? Is this recorded? Is. Okay. Right. Fine. If you don't like it, we go in court. That's all. It's okay. very simple. All okay. right. You're okay. going to so give a decision uh, in 30 days. Then we have a 60 days window to file an appeal and go in court. Okay. So you want to take it for whatever is worth? Fine. If you don't, that's okay. Yeah. I have to give you a full report this evening. No, that's not the same. Okay. So let's go to the next one. 
101. Okay, so yeah. hold on. So, so board members, 2020-63, 237 Hall Avenue. The appellant has placed a market value of $535,000 on it. It's of October 1, 2020. Correct. Okay. Yes. I think we need a motion to accept uh, that number and we will vote on it in next week's meeting. Is that correct, Mr. Jackson? Uh I, I don't think you need to vote to accept his testimony. I think you we're doing that and, and it is being recorded if anybody yes. wants to review it. So right. you can deliberate. There's a lot here for the board to go through. So you may need some yes. additional time to you know yes. to review this and right. then yes. make a decision at, at your next meeting. Yes. So should there be a motion to or or just no motion at all? At the next meeting, we'll make a motion. No motion at this time. Okay. Correct. Can I hear yeah. uh, from the board members? Uh, Mr. Chairman, make a motion to listen uh, to the appeal and make a decision and no motion at this time at the next meeting. Second. All in favor. Okay. Uh, as long as we get our, uh, our procedure correct here. All right. So let's move on to twenty twenty oh six one. Rogers Family Limited Partnership, one fifty nine to one eighty one North Colony Street. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Lamonte. Uh, <coughs> yes, please I tell do. us what that. Uh, Okay, I do have a, a, a report on this one, you know, that uh, I'm going to be finishing uh, by uh, tomorrow. Okay, so the, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but this is, uh, this property is three different uh, structures, buildings, and one parcel. It's 159-181 North Colony Street. So what we have is uh, one-story building with two two users one is a chinese restaurant and the, the other one is a retail store and then then we got the self storage you know component and then is another uh, another structure which is uh, one one and two story and that's uh, that's uh, that's a restaurant you know it, well actually it's, it's a bar uh, cafe you know on the ground floor now your fill card it says specifically it's a five-room apartment on the second floor. The second floor is, is simply storage. It's a walk-up attic. It's no apartment there. So my my value is predicated on, on you know, the three buildings, but with, without any apartment on the second floor where the hard, hard head cafe is located, is simply storage. It's nothing there, just walk-up attic space. And uh, so on that basis, uh, I did the same thing. You know, I, I use an income approach, primarily an income approach, because this is an income producing property, and a, and a market approach, because I, I needed to have a, a range of values. So I did it both ways. And uh, based on, on the rents that is collected, you know, on this property, based on, on market you know condition based on the type of property my two values are uh, 495,000 on the market sales approach and 425,000 on the income approach so my final value conclusion or, or retrospective value conclusion is 455,000 Four five five, and that's in October one, two thousand twenty. And and so we, it's a discrepancy, you know, between the town records and what actually is there. And I I have a lot of photos uh, in, in the report, you know, predicated on that uh, walk up Eric space, which is not an apartment. It's just it's storage. It's a walk up Eric. 
and the, so the 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 main the main trust is on the income and again is so it's the hard head cafe then it's the chinese restaurant then it's the retail store and uh, the self storage you know uh, facility so i i'm using uh, his rents i compare the rents collected to market rents and they are they are in line you know with with the market and so the i'm i'm very confident on this value uh, is extremely well supported so it's 55 as of october 1 2024 159-181 colony street in waterford do i hear a motion from the board um make a motion to uh Vote on this uh, on this decision for the next meeting. Second. All in favor? Well, Aye. the motion is to not make a motion tonight and to, to vote on in a future at a future meeting. No motion six one and you can make a vote on the next next on uh, a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay, the next um, appeal will be 2020-064, Rogers Family Partnership, 101 Dudley Avenue. Uh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> uh, by the way, Mr. Chairman, uh, I I want to mention this. I I've been through this properties more than once, so I spent quite a bit of time, you know, going through. And I I have a lot of photos in in the appraisals of, of this properties, both exterior and interior. And so I I, I try to to be as as uh, you know um, information related. You know, I I want to be very accurate. You know, so I I spend a lot of time going through the records, looking at the properties and the comparables as well. Now, this property, I don't know if you guys are familiar, this is an industrial uh, area of uh, town. So the, the property itself, basically, it's a, it's a one-story industrial garage and storage, you know, uh, a property which was built in 1959. And then in 2002, uh, Mr. Rogers built uh, an, an additional structure, which is a one-story detached uh, building of 476 square feet, which is utilized as an office uh, in conjunction, you know, with a garage space uh, that was built in uh, 1959. So the garage itself, you know, it's uh, 2,880 square feet. And, and the office area, which is detached, you know, from the from the from the main building, is 476 square feet. Now, the this is strictly owner occupied, 100%. So I have uh, now the garage itself, you know, the 2,880 square feet. They got a five. It's five bays, you know, five overhead doors. But uh, it, it is an old facility built in 1959, and it, it, its utility is very limited. The only thing you can do is uh, store some trucks there, or uh, you know, uh, storage of uh, industrial material, you know, of some sort. There's nothing else you can do with that building, so it's very limited utility that the building has, and. Uh, as far the the newer structure, you know, it's only 476 square feet. And, and again, it's an office for the support of the of the garage component, uh, garage slash storage. So I I did the same thing, you know, I I I used an income approach and I used a market approach. So in that uh, in that respect. My two values are uh, based on the market approach is 185,000, 
and based on the income approach is, is 230,000. So my final value conclusion is 200,000 as of October 1, 2020. 200,000. 200,000, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey. Do I hear a motion? Mr. Chairman, make a motion. Make a motion of no official motion tonight and move this to a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Hey. Hearing number. 2020-059. And which one? Which one? Rogers Family Limited Partnership, 110 Christian Street. Okay. So the, the, these are the residential uh, uh, component now, right? This is a two-family. It's it's an older uh, structure. And the, the, the gross dwelling area is 2,010 square feet and 0 0.15 acres of uh, residential zone uh, parcel. The, the property is rented, so it's tenants occupied. Uh, You know, Mr. Roger has uh, done some some he's uh, done some re remodeling there, you know, uh, in the past. But th this is uh, this is an, a, a very old, you know, uh, property built in uh, 1800, 1890. That's what the assessor is indicating, 1890. So even with whatever improvements they've done, it's an old, it's an old property. It's at best in average condition. And again, I have a lot of photos of, of the properties inside and out, you know, interior and exterior. So I did the same thing, you know, I did an income approach because the property is rented, even though it's residential, but it's generating income. And I did a market approach. So I have a, a value of 215,000 on the market approach, and I have a value of 190 on the income approach. So my value, final value conclusion, retrospective as of October 1, 2020 is 200,000. And these values are as is, you know, uh, whatever is there is, as of that day, October 1, 2020. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion on 2020-059, no official motion tonight, and move this uh, decision to a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The next appeal will be 2020-062. Rogers Family Limited Partnership, 71 Bull Avenue. Okay. Uh, th this is also a two family. And, uh, it's a very small two family. It, it, the gross living area is 1,400 square feet. It's two story uh, and a small parcel of uh, 0 0.14 acres residential zone. And it's the same same situation, you know. The the property has received some, you know, maintenance uh, upgrades, but it's a it's a very old uh, uh, property uh, built uh, 1870 or around around that time. It, it is rented, you know, uh, similar to the other one, and so they got a four rooms on the first floor. Two bedrooms, about 800 square feet, uh, roughly, and it's a three-room, one-bedroom on the upper floor, which is only 500 square feet. So that's very, very small. It's a total of seven rooms with uh, three bedrooms, 
And uh, so on that basis, uh, my direct sales, you know, uh, comparison approach uh, come in at uh, 155,000. And my income approach uh, is 145,000. So my final value, retrospective value as of October 1, 2020 is 150,000 for this property. And Mr. Uh, Chairman, I make a motion of no official uh, motion on 2020-062, move a decision to a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. The uh, can I interrupt, Mr. Chairman? We, we have someone on the a caller. I'd, find, I'd like to identify the caller and put put them on mute for now. Okay. Can the caller identify themselves. Uh, Janet Swanson. Okay, Janet. We're in in the middle of several hearings, so I'm going to put you on mute, and then when the chairman is ready, he will call you. Okay. And then and okay, then you thank, would thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Janet. But we we have the last one. This is the last one. Um. So we have 2020-060. One fifty five South Elm Street, right? Uh, hold on. Let me uh let me find it. This is Roger Family Limited Partnership, one five five South Elm Street. Correct. Yes, correct. And and this is the last one. Now this this is also a two family tenants occupied. It's they they are basically the, the same you know predicament. This is all very old 1870 uh, more or less up and down two two family. The, the property consists of uh, 2,520 square feet above grade area uh, and a, and a small lot of 0 0.14 yeah 0 0.14 and uh, they they have a a, a four room apartment on the on the on the first on the first floor on the ground floor and it's a five room apartment on the second floor they both are two bedrooms each now the ground floor is about 900 980 square feet and uh, the upper floor the second floor is 1,360 square feet, you know, more, more or less. That's right, the second floor is five rooms as opposed to the four rooms on the ground floor. So the total building area is 2,520. Uh, gross living area I estimated 2,340. And common areas is about 180 square feet. Now the property has received some, some upgrades, you know, throughout the years, but it, it is dated, it, it's an older property. It, it, it only so much you can do on a structure built in 1870. And, you know, in terms of uh, you know appeal, in terms of uh, uh, you know modernization, you know, and uh, all the other uh, good stuff. So I did a, again a market approach and I did an income approach. Now, on this one, it's quite a bit of a discrepancy between the two values, and and the income approach, I, I mean, and the market approach. I have a value of 290, but on the income, my value is only 190,000. In other words, based on, on the four rooms and five rooms, and based on the age of the property, it's only so much income you, you can you, you can collect if you want to be competitive. And uh, so, uh, and uh, Mr. Rogers, you know, owned these properties for several years. And so, and they know the market, you know, so they, their rents are based on, on market, you know, they're current. And so uh, my final value conclusion on this one, it's 250,000. And again, it's retrospective as of October 1, 2020. Make, make a motion. Make a motion, Mr. Chairman, on 2020-060 of no official motion tonight and move it to this decision to a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Now, if you, we will be uh, looking at this in a future meeting and. Uh, I, I can send you, I can email you some stuff, you know, starting this evening and tomorrow. So if you want to give me a way to do that, I'd be more than happy to, to send you. Uh, you have to address that to the assessor's office. Uh, and what, what's, what's the, give, give me the site, how, how you want me to do that. It's the email address is assessor at okay. Wallingford yeah. gov. That go. Okay. Mr. Jackson. Yeah, it's a shared email, sure. But you can address okay. it. Okay. All right. I, I'm going to do that this evening and tomorrow morning for all six uh, properties. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Um, all right. So we got a. I got a backtrack for Janet Swanson, right? She was from the other night. That's correct. correct. Okay, hang on. Let me. Uh, You you sent it to us, right, Kevin? <clears throat> I think I printed it out. Too. Okay. Okay, so this is appeal 2020-018, Mark and Janet Swanson, 45 Nodbrook. I'm going to swear you in, Mrs. Swanson. Uh, I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. Hi, what am I supposed to say? I didn't quite hear you. What did you say? Oh, I didn't know if I'm supposed to say something after you say that. Oh, no, yeah, you can you can say, uh, I do, I agree. I do. Okay, there you go. All right, so this is 45 Nodbrook Road. Um, you've placed a market value of 289000 on the property? Yep. Yeah. Correct. The town has placed a value of 293400 on the property? Yep. Okay. Okay, do you want me to talk? Please, please say whatever oh, okay. you yeah. want to say. Then. So, let's see. I wrote it down here. I hope I didn't lose it. So, there are two properties that sold in um, 2020. Can't believe I swear I lose things like it's just oh I think it fell on the floor. Hold on. Let me grab it. Okay. So and they're raised ranches just like mine on my street. Fifty four Nodbrook sold for two seventy four months ago. And then sixty two Nodbrook sold July fifteenth um in uh twenty twenty for two ninety. Um a little more upgraded. They had the um, aluminum side and painted and things like that. Um, so we, you know, we haven't, uh, you know, done an, a, a lot of, you know, upgrades to our home. Um, so I mean, we, tr I truly believe that it should go for the two eighty nine. You know. Um... So it actually went up in assessed value two oh five four hundred. Two oh five four hundred. And then 
And then what was it before the 205 500? 199.3. Your your assessed value went up six thousand one hundred dollars. Yeah, and and I, uh, you know, you I don't buy. You don't think the value I, of the house went up, has gone up in five years or since 2019. No, no, I'm just going by what the house is sold for in my neighborhood. So that was in 2020. Those two houses sold for those prices. Right. So no, I don't. Don't. 2020 was a good year to sell houses. Yeah, but they didn't sell it for 270 and 290. Well, you're at you're at 290, 293.4. So let me let me see what the the town has. Correct. 62 Nodbrook was sold for 290. Yep. And 54 Nodbrook, 270, four months ago. And they're both raised ranches. And is your house a raised ranch too? Correct. Yep. We're pretty close. But no cigar. <laughs> you know, you had you had an increase of 1.4%. You know, that is probably one of the lowest increases that I've seen uh, yeah. in the last two weeks of people coming in here. I've seen four, six, seven, eight, ten. You know, your, your increase is... is Right. But right, but I'm still stating with those two houses, you know. I understand what you're trying to say. You're trying to convince me to give up, but um I'm not like I'm telling you my facts and you know. So give me a minute here to look at that. All right. Sure. And, uh, Okay. So based on the town's uh, based on the town's comps, um, and they actually feel that. Uh, the value would be over over three hundred thousand um, for that kind of house in in uh, on Cook Hill Road and Cheshire Road. Yeah, Cook but Hill I'm, Road. yeah, I'm not on Cook Hill Road though. So, I mean, uh, I told you what was on my street. So, did I just waste my time, or I mean, I just don't get why you're doing this. I I showed you proof. 
54 Nodbrook Road, 62 Nodbrook Road. And it's like, I just don't get it. You're like, and now you're looking at other streets. Well, that's that's where we comp. We comp, we comp a variety well, of you houses. Should, so, okay. Well, um, I gave you. So basically, it was this was a waste of my time. Are you saying? Because I mean, I I told you what was on our street, and now you're saying that it doesn't make sense or something, or you're not agreeing to it. Well. We're we're understanding what you're saying, and we're understanding what the town is saying also. So, mm -hmm. so the town wins basically. They don't care what I say. That's not true. Well, I'm telling you, giving you facts, and you're not listening. So I, I just don't know. Like I feel like this is a waste to if you're not gonna like you're going by other streets. So Mr. Well, Chairman, that's how you do cops. You do what I can't on, hear. You do what's on other cops. So do I hear a motion? Okay, so did I lose? Did I lose then? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion. That this is Carl to reduce the market value to two hundred ninety-one thousand. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, you'll be notified uh, by the town's uh, assessor. Okay, zone. so they took off two thousand. Twenty-four hundred dollars. 2400 all right thank you thank you Bye. Okay, so we uh Okay, at seven o'clock we have David Johnson. So he's not here yet, Mr. Chairman. I'm, maybe I'll give him a call and see if we can get him in here. That's that's okay with you. Uh it's ten minutes. Either that or you want to take a break and let him just show up at seven. That's your call. Why don't we why don't we do that? You got it. And then uh, at eight o'clock, we have two residentials right away, and then the remaining David Johnson. You know, we'll see if we can get those two residential people in. So. You do the two residentials first if you want, and and make Mr. Johnson wait. Yeah, correct. His, I, his I agree. With that, you know, I agree. Yeah, I do. All right, uh, uh, we'll call the residential people right now. Yeah, if you want to bring him in right now, that's that's fine too. That's good. <clears throat> Kevin, do you have the residential properties or are they here in my packet? I know you took some of the residential stuff with you today. No, Shelby, you should have all the originals. I didn't take any um of the appeal, so I don't have any of the phone numbers. If you want to give me one, I'll so no, yeah, just want to make sure I know who I'm looking for. That's all. Let me see. Oh. Um. Uh. Oh, Okay, I see Mark and Denise Yates, uh, case number 024, and Kevin and Corey Dean, case number 015. Okay, I got them. Okay.
Okay, Mr. Chairman, I called and left messages with both of those residential appellants. Okay. Uh, and I also called the other um, party, Sansone, that's representing several commercial properties. They're going to have an attorney, Michael Reiner, log on pretty soon, is what I'm told. And meanwhile, we have Larry Garfinkel uh, enter the meeting. Okay. Larry Garfinkel is to represent who? What if I am? Um, I'm here on behalf of Sanson, Joseph C. Sansone Company, who's uh, handling this nine separate appeals they filed. Okay. Do we have an authorization letter on file? Yes, there's a separate one for each one of these filed. With your name on it? Uh, with the name of my firm, Green Law PC. We do have I'm that. an attorney there. We have uh, authorization for Green Law PC acting through one of its attorneys to act as their agent. So um, I think we're good to go. Mr. Garfinkel testified that he is an attorney with that firm, correct, Mr. Garfinkel? Yes, that is correct. Thank you. I thought Mike Reiner was gonna gonna lock on. That's why I didn't recognize the name. I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. He had a conflict this evening, so I'm I'm here for him. Okay, so we're going to uh, start again with hearing number 2020-086, JNF Realty LLC. And for the record, we have Larry Garfinkel with Green Law um, representing. You're representing who now? Sans, Joseph C. Sansone Company. That's correct, and the and the appellant. And the appellant. And I do not need to swear you in. Correct. Correct. Okay, so the first property that we're going to hear is J and F Realty LLC, nine thirty five North Main Street Extension. We will be hearing your appeal. We will be hearing your information. We will be voting at a future date on a decision for the appeal. Thank you. I'm just trying to find, a, you know, as you know, I have nine of these. I'm just trying to figure out which which one. This is uh, trying to find one. So, Jane, if right here. Yep. So, I, you know, for all of these, I believe you have all the information already. We've supplied, um, or you should have, um, an analysis as well as uh, comparables, I think, for all the properties. Um, so it's up to you. We could go through each one. Um, I'm happy to do that. Or if you just want to you know, see what we've submitted, that, that's fine also. I've reviewed um, some of these. I've looked at some of the numbers. Uh, I'd like to hear from either Mr. Coons or Mr. Jackson about the information that's been supplied. Uh, have they come to the informal hearings? Have they come to your office? Or is this the first time that we're hearing and, and seeing and reviewing this information? Right, so I believe they went, I believe on all of them, they went to the informals. I, I'd have to go one by one to confirm that and to and or to give you results, whether there was a change or not. But my understanding is that um, 
Sansone Company went to all the informals. In fact, I even dealt with uh, David Johnson from the Sansone Company on a couple of properties that were assessed at over $1 million. So um, I think uh, these were under a million dollars assessment. Yes, that's correct. So, so they, you know, they had to uh, appear before the board in order to preserve their rights to move forward. And Mr. Garfinkel will add to that if he wants to. Okay. So, and you've no, seen that's, some that's correct. It, it, so you've seen some of this information. Um, yes. Yes, sir. Already. Yes, Mr. Chairman. We've seen it all. Yes. Thank you. All right. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Garfinkel, please uh, go ahead and tell us about the appeal. I uh, mean, just you know, very basically, it's, it's you know, our opinion is that the uh, property should be valued at seven hundred and uh, seven hundred and sixteen thousand dollars. Okay, and currently, currently, I believe it's at uh, eight hundred eighty-nine thousand seven hundred. Hmm. That's not what I have. I have, this is 935 North Main Street extension, correct? Oh, one second. Yes, that's correct. Okay, you're at 716. The town is at? Oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at 2019, I apologize. Yeah, 955, nine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, do I hear a motion similar to the earlier motion? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to table the final decision to a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we're going to move on to 2020-091. 508 North Colony Road Associates, LLC. 508 North Colony Street. Go ahead, Mr. Garfinkel. Sure, uh, Lawrence Garfinkel appearing um, on this file. Uh, our opinion of value, or you know, the town has it at $809,100. Our opinion is that it's $613,000. Okay. Do I hear a and motion? We okay, I'm sorry. No, just we've submitted comparables on this as well. Okay. I make a motion, Mr. Chairman, to table final decision to a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So uh, next one will be 2020-085. Is that correct or are we doing a... Correct. Uh, Barnes Homestead LLC, 36 North Main Street. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Lawrence Garfinkel, the um, town has this appraised at seven hundred and forty four thousand four hundred dollars our opinion of value is six hundred fifty four thousand dollars and again comparables were attached okay that's not what your uh, appeal says <laughs> oh you're right five hundred thousand dollars Yes, yeah, it does say 500,000. Is that your appeal number? 500,000. Yes, correct. That's correct. Okay, do I hear a motion? Make a motion, 2020-085, uh, to table final decision to a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next will be 2020-089. Jax LLC, 
856 North Main Street Extension. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Lawrence Garfinkel for the appellant. Uh, our estimate of value is $775,000. The town presently had it appraised at $1,225,800. I hear a motion from the board. A motion, Mr. Chairman, to um, uh, 2020-089 to table the final decision to a final a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the next one will be 2020-084, Rucol LLC. 413 South Cherry Street. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Lawrence Garfinkel for the appellant. So our estimate of value is $707,000. Town has this at $841,600. And we have comparables attached. Make a motion. Mr. Chairman, to uh, on 2020-084 to table final decision to a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, then we jump to 2020 185. Hearing number 2020-185, Barnes Homestead LLC, property located at 924 North Main Street Extension. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Lawrence Garfinkel for the appellant. On this matter, we believe the value is $551,000. And the town has it at $1,148,600. We do have comparables attached. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to table final decision to, to a future meeting on 2020-185. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, next will be 2020-187. Hearing number 2020-187, Verna 2 CT LLC, uh, 53 North Plains Industrial Road. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Lawrence Garfinkel, for the appellant. It's our opinion that the value is $954,000. The town presently has it appraised at $1,309,900. And we do have comparables attached. So, Chairman, make a motion on 2020 187 to table final decision to a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. And then we have 2020 188. Euro Realty LLC, 569 North Colony Street. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Lawrence Garfinkel for the appellant. Uh, our estimate of value is $685,000. The town has it appraised at $867,300, and we do have comparables attached. I make a motion, Mr. Chairman, to, for 2020-188 to table final decision to a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That concludes the list. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I think there was one more. Did you go over 2020-092? You know what? I think we did miss that one. 
You are correct. This is hearing number 2020-092, First Connecticut Credit Union, Inc., 159 South Turnpike Road. Interestingly, Your Honor, I heard you say, Mr. Chairman, we I don't have the information on that one. Um, we are here. Um, I, I guess I'll just submit whatever is on the whatever you're, okay. you have in your file. I don't know why. So you have placed the market value of seven hundred ninety-one thousand dollars on the property. The town current market value is one million thirty-six thousand nine hundred dollars. Mr. Chairman, can I possibly get the address for that again? 159 South Turnpike Road. Thank you. Yeah, evidently, we printed out the same one. One of them printed out twice, 53 North Plains. So I apologize to the, com to the committee. No problem. Do you have enough information? I don't have the file with me, but whatever we've submitted is what we would stand on. That's what we would request as the fair market value. And and seven seven ninety one is what is on the appeal. Thank you. I make a motion, motion Mr. Chairman. Twenty twenty dash zero nine two to table final decision to a future meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Attorney Garfield. You will be receiving notification from our office uh, within the next week or two. Thank you. Great. Very good. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. You too. Okay. I see uh, we have Denise Yates. So let's go to 2020 0 4. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Yeah, Hi. Hi, Shelby. Uh, let me find your appeal here and we'll. Okay. okay. So, this is appeal number 2020 024, Mark and Denise Yates. I'm going to swear you in. I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. Yes. And this is concerning your property at 66 North Airline Road, Wallingford, Connecticut, and you have placed a market value on the property at $325,000. Okay, yep. Okay. Um, so go ahead, tell us about your appeal, what um, information you may have to support the $325,000 price. Okay, so um, I've never done this before. <laughs> Let me just say, I'm, I'm, new, I'm new to this. I'm a little, you know, confused here. Well, we've got no, no capital improvements or anything. Nothing's changed since our, our last evaluation. Okay, so as, as it stands right now, um, the, the town market value on your property is $326,600. Your one, your $1,600 from your value to the town's value. Right. But we're just, we're just concerned. The assessment went up 24,400. Now I'm just wondering why the assessment jumped up so much from the last assessment when we haven't done any major changes to our property or our home inside or outside. It's almost eight hundred dollars more. No it's not. It's no. twenty four thousand. Well right. Mm -hmm. So we're just questioning why and you know some of the other surrounding properties in the area did not go up 
that much. We have okay. it down the road that actually went down and it has more bedrooms and bathrooms. But you've placed the value at 325, the town's at 326.6. So as, as for the value of the house, um, I haven't I haven't seen anyone as close as you know this uh, in this cycle. You 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 know you're telling us 325, we're telling you 326. Uh, you know that that's what I'm looking at. Okay. So I understand the the assessment went up, and uh -huh. uh, but you're but you're in agreement. Uh, with the town on the value. Fairly, yeah, we're fairly close on the value, yes. Yes. So are you saying we can't appeal it? I'm, I'm, I've never, we've been here 36 years, you know, and... Um, it's a big increase. Yeah, it's a big increase. The other only other big increase like that is when we put an addition on our house, it went up 71,000, and that was back in 2004. Other than that, it hasn't gone up that much you know, every year. Okay, so, but real, real estate does appreciate, um, it is now uh, in, in 2020, October 1st of 2020, um, real estate has gone up significantly and the value of homes have gone up um, and, and they've gone up by all different amounts. And... Um, right, but I was just, I did a little comparison just to some of the homes like, on my street, some other ranches, some went up by like only 11,000, one went down by 1,600, you know, comparable houses to what we have, comparable to, you know, two bedrooms, two baths, uh, same size ranches. Yeah. And I'm seeing, you know, a lot different um, assessments, you know, as far as increases. Maybe uh, the assessor's office can give you, you know, some information uh, how and why, you know, uh, the houses have appreciated and gone up in this last reval. No, we understand that, you know, the market obviously has gone up. Right. right. But we're saying as our particular house that we have here, we haven't done any major improvements to warrant such, a, I think, a high assessment. I don't think it's always based on on the improvements as it is um, uh -huh. market market variables you know the demand is high if i if if i went out and did a search in the real estate market this afternoon in the 250 to 350 uh price range there's only 11 houses in wallingford for sale uh, uh -huh. that that is a, an extremely low number especially based against the demand uh, right now. Houses are, um, and again, this is how it's been through 2020 also. So the values have, you know, risen. Um, the demand has, has increased the value. So you don't necessarily have to do an improvement to, you know, appreciate the, the property to appreciate in value, so. Okay, so basically we have no case, is that what you're saying? We really have no recourse to, to lower it at all? I mean, I know a woman I work with, hers was went up 10,000 and she appealed it in, at the informal hearing and they adjusted it by 8,000. It went down to 1,900, her increase for a ranch. I, I don't, you know, every case is different. Every house is different. Condition right. matters, location, you know, there could be some, some issue with the location, um, huh. you know, the size, wrong information on the card. Okay. You know, um, was, uh, Mr. Chairman, was there anything submitted on, on this? Any materials? Um, Did I submit any materials? Is that what you're asking? Yes. No, no, I didn't no. submit anything, no. But the, but the town, the assessor's office did go out and do, uh, comparisons they used Northfield Road, Constitution Street, Durham Road, East Main Street. Um, so they did go out and do some comparisons? Oh yeah. I mean it's all on, you know, that that information is 
it, it is on on file. It's on the agenda. And oh, um, cool. so and okay. so so in theory, the town has come back. Um, um yeah, three twenty six six. Um, but uh, do I do I hear a motion from the board based based uh, upon their repeal? Do I hear a motion? Mr. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to reduce the market value to three hundred twenty-five thousand. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank well, you for your thank, time. thank you guys for your time. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay. So we really have one more, correct? Uh, that's what I see. Yep, one more. I, I did call. You tried calling him. You, uh, I called and left a message. I'll call. I'll shut my. I'll mute myself and call again. Okay. I'm going to take a um, short break and I'll be back. Hopefully, you can get him. Or you know, he he is listed to be on at eight o'clock. So. Okay, I think we're all here. Uh, so this is hearing number 2020-015, Kevin and Corey Dean. I'm going to swear you in. Mr. Dean, I hereby solemnly swear that the testimony I'm about to give is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. I do. Okay, uh, this property is 56 Surrey Drive. You've placed the market value of $325,000 on the property and um, you had a uh, an appraisal done. Yes. Right. So go ahead, please tell us uh, about your house and your appeal. Well, we received the revaluation placing the value at 371,000, which seemed to us out of out of whack with the neighborhood and what we've seen houses selling for in the area and how long certain ones had been on the market so we reached out to an appraiser who did a drive-by appraisal and he put the value of the house at 325 and he wasn't quite sure how the 371 could have been arrived at okay so the town has reviewed um the appraisal and has come to the conclusion that um, they uh, have reworked the overall property and changed the area over the garage from half story to expansion attic, resulting in a new market value of 334.7. So, They've heard your appeal, you know, they did, they've done some work. Um, uh, 325 was a drive by 334. I, I don't think they came out uh, at all, but uh, right, no one's can, come to your house to, to go through it. So, no, the 334.7 seems close enough. Okay, do I hear a motion? Make a motion, Mr. Chairman, to reduce the market value on 2020-015 to 334-700. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So the town uh, assessor's office will send you a letter. Great. Thank you, Mr. Vitale. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I think that uh, concludes all of them this evening. We in agreement? Yes, according to my records, we're, okay. we're, we're done. And we're done okay, early. So, pardon? Yeah. 
we're done early. It's too bad we made all those motions. We could have voted on some of those other ones now tonight. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what's what's okay? So why don't we uh, hear a mo have a motion? And, and what, let me ask before we adjourn, Mr. Chairman, if I may. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Maybe Shelley will remember. What did we do with the Yalesville properties? Did we specify that they were going to be at a special meeting, or did we just say at a future meeting? Well, we we go ahead. I think we said special meeting, but go okay. ahead. Okay, all right. Then we have to wait for the special meeting then. So I I think I, we have a meeting yeah. Monday. And I think we take all of these and and vote on them on Monday. You know, that okay. gives us the week that gives us the weekend to look through it. Um, you know, the the Joseph C. Sansone, there's information in the agenda pack to to look at. Uh, the John Lamonti, I have no idea, you know, what's coming, what's not coming. Uh, but Monday night, we're going to vote on all of the Yalesville properties, the Brian, Mulready, John Lamonte, and, and uh, Joseph San, Sancone, Sansone ones, okay? Okay. And uh, I don't know what's tomorrow. Um, is there an agenda on the calendar for tomorrow, Shelly, already? Yes, there is. It's online. All right. Thank you. Okay. So I, do I hear a motion? Make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we can stop the recording.